wouldn't last long in the industry. To, you know, uh, he trying I think to get he just crucified. He, he, bought, he might be getting canceled right now. He just crucified. Yeah, he just crucified himself. He said a few, uh, um, I guess, homophobic remarks and. Uh, I think he said something about like he said, the AIDS community or something like that. Not the community, uh, people that have AIDS. The nigga the said, AIDS. "Nigga, if you don't do this, put your lighters up. I mean, your cell phone lights up. Yeah. If you don't do this, put your light up." He never said, "I don't fuck with this. I don't fuck with that." Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he wanted his crowd to turn up. I guarantee you, half of the crowd, well, majority of the crowd, hopefully, was. It applied to what he said. Like, if you ain't Ron, if you ain't got HIV, put your light. I'm putting my light up. I ain't got that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, if you ain't out here, doing, man, I ain't on no gay shit, man. I'm putting my light up too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, ain't like he was like, yeah. If you ain't got your light up, get the fuck out, you gay ass. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I once again, I just think it'd be the media taking shit. Out of concert. Yeah, I don't really agree with the the canceling because let's let's get this clear. Broke what? niggas, broke niggas in the club and parties and concerts been getting whole forever. The broke community, if you got more, if you got if you ain't got a hundred dollars in your pocket, shut the fuck up, you whole ass bitch ass niggas. The broke niggas always get ridiculed. We ain't broke broke niggas ain't saying shit yet. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's get that clear. You know what I mean? I know the gay community <laughs> and the LG, LGBTQ <laughs> community is a little way different. It's more of a it's really a thing. But that was just me bringing some funniness to it. But I really don't agree with him being canceled either. Like, but at the same time though, it's these big people like them corporations like mm-hmm. once you like do the sponsorships and ambassadors and all that other mm-hmm. shit like you gotta move differently though that's a big fact like you feel me like you see no matter all the shit that he done they didn't drop him or stop fucking with him till he said that like you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so it's like all the shit you do in your music videos or you do whoop, whoop, whoop behind closed doors or shit that we don't see do whatever you're gonna do but now nah, you ain't rolling loud, nigga. It's probably like a million people out that bitch. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. and you send the shots like that. And then, not even the fact that uh, what he said is how they took it, how the world took it. And now these uh, sponsors and corporations, now nah, they got to defend them. They got to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, if the world ain't fucking with it and they ain't not fucking with you, Oh, we can't fuck with you because we don't want them not fucking with us. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's just, I guarantee if nobody ever, if if no, nobody said anything about anything, he wouldn't have got dropped some shit. Oh, that's a big fact. And like, one thing is, I, it's a lot of celebrities that actually touched on the situation or, and like, kind of like, I know Questlove put like something out there. He had a list or something like that. And he kind of like scratched the baby off of it and kind of had a big explanation. This is my thing. You not tied to the baby in any kind of way. You not like like the corporation. They kind of gotta make that stance and shit like that. But it's certain people that's really just speaking out on it. A lot of it ain't even just, they business. A lot of people just be looking for the opportunity. Like it ain't even they business. Like, all right, speak on the situation itself. But like, as far as like kind of how we speaking on it, just like, but you ain't had to be like. Putting your two cents out there like that, like it's a lot of niggas just like I, I don't fuck with the baby now because of this, like, like does it really like what's do you even how does this even affect you in any way? Like why this is what we do? We talk about shit. This is what we do. You know what I'm saying? But because these, because when you put that out there, it's gonna be somebody that reposted it. Then somebody gonna repost that because you said it. And now it's now you trending over because you just took advantage of the opportunity you seen. Like I said, bro, everybody is looking for for yeah. for opportunities and chances to become relevant and be relevant. Like, yeah. but like you said, mind your business. Like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, my nigga, the baby said, um, "What do you say? You trying to cancel me? I'm the reason why niggas talking." He said. If anybody else probably would have said that, if they didn't give a fuck about you, this shit wouldn't even, niggas wouldn't even give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? So the fact, I am the influence. That nigga said, I am the influence. So that's yeah. why they it's making all the noise. You can't cancel me. Rapping and become an icon. I like the energy. 
And, he, and the day after, damn near the day after, he released a uh, video that was kind of like, <laughs> kind of like he was getting his dick sucked, in, fake getting his dick sucked in the video with sign up. You know, his videos be a little crazy. His like, shit be off the wall. But I like, I actually like his videos. His shit be crazy. But that nigga, man, like I said, I just didn't think that the gimmicks and the, you know, the silly shit is gonna last long. That's why I kept saying like, I don't think he got another ten, and I think it's gonna be harder nah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still standing on that comment, but I think it's gonna be even harder now. You know what I'm saying? I think I think he'll be good. It's kind of like how you know Rick Ross almost got canceled for uh, the but, Molly and the Champagne. Yeah, but you couldn't, man. That you got Reebok drop, Reebok dropped them, all type of shit that you have. Who else? Yeah, Tory but look at what he did though. got canceled. Or is he With still? the exit? Yeah, he kind of still through. I don't play. He Jordan, doing no. numbers. And his albums is nice. Tory albums is good. Which everybody album can be good nowadays because originality doesn't matter. So let's originality doesn't matter. You can sound like Lil Durk today. You can sound like Tory Lanez. You can sound like Drake tomorrow. It doesn't matter. So and you can you create notice, any bro, vibe you want. And bro, if you pay any attention, bro, if you know this nigga, all the songs that's banging out is samples from songs we used to listen to. When, Almost definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what's really crazy. That's what everybody's doing right now to get a banger. Like sampling some old shit. Big facts. Like, that shit just. But what was sweet when Tori did that shit for the, um. That, that, that was whole, sweet. That, that whole album, what whatever. Was it? It's the chick, the, uh, chick, tape. chick tapes or some shit like that. Yeah, he went crazy. Yeah, Tori's actually fire. talented, but like like I said. But like, it's just the shit you do that be fucking you up. Yeah. Nigga, what's the name said? They about to sue this nigga again because he violated the, um, restraining order. Not, what is it called? Not the restraining order. The, you can't be this far away from me type shit. I mean, you gotta be this far away. Um, a PPO, I yeah, think yeah. that's what it's called. Yeah. Nigga, he, cause they were at Rolling Loud. Oh yeah, Meg, Meg was there, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, she was backstage while he, or he was still backstage while she was on stage, or some shit, like, dressing room, some shit like that. And they want to take that nigga back to court, which makes me believe that he did that. He shit. did. <laughs> he did that shit. Though. So we we can we can we can kind of segue into that. So like he did that shit. Cause you know though. it was a big thing with Meg not fucking with the baby no more, cause he he fucking with. Story and they got to track some shit out there. Like, as far as like Meg wise, Maybe do you feel like, cause Tori out here, he's working with every fucking body. Yeah. So like, do you feel like Meg should be mad at that type of shit or you think she just should, you know what I'm saying? Or Business is business, bro. At the end of the day, everybody in that, in that game to make money. That's a big fact. Like, if this nigga is a piece or a key to me getting some more money, guess what? <laughs> Come on, my nigga. Let's drop this motherfucking EP or or, or shit, a song or whatever. Like, let's make some money, nigga. This is big fact. Whatever you do in your personal life, like, like I said, I, but it depends though. I if, think they it, had a close relationship. That's what I'm about to say. Like, that's mm-hmm. what I'm about to say. It depends though. Like, if if I'm, it if the relationship is there, then it's like, nah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But if it ain't, then shit. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, me. I feel the same way. Like. Maybe, it may be because I think she, I think the baby the only one that got the backlash for working with uh, um, Tori from Meg. So I'm pretty sure like they had like a a pretty cool relationship and maybe they have spoke about it or something like that. So with that being said, maybe I, I for sure understand understand where Meg coming from. Hopefully they can get a resolve to it because they actually made fire songs together, Meg and the baby. They actually got a few. Bangers. bangers like they got a few bangers so like hopefully they can get that shit situated but i kind of I, I could feel both sides it depend on the relationship they got they for sure got some they for sure got some fucking bangers. i was just listening to the shit in my head cry baby yeah uh shit um cash shit cash shit uh you know why these bitches love me uh oh yeah 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 damn um, damn yeah, 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 yeah. nasty damn she is on that they got some bangers hey meg the baby, go ahead and like, I got some shit. go ahead and just make that, you know what I mean? Y'all make good music together. Like, yeah. y'all really make good music together. Come to some type of resolve, you know what I'm saying? We need to, we need to hear more bangers. Man, y'all. just keep it business. Like, fuck all the extra shit. If that's the case. Yeah. Y'all niggas make good music, keep making it. Like, fuck but, it, all that other shit. But 